got giant breaking news, gargantuous breaking news, and I'll explain why it's so big. Number four had an explosion last night, caught on fire. So last night in Japan was 8.35 p.m. Now, why is this such a big deal? This is such a big deal as I've called the Fuktonium, and you can laugh all you want about Fuktonium. And if you think I'm crazy, then you call Einstein crazy. You call Oppenheimer crazy. They, plutonium is a byproduct. America, cesium-134, thesium-137, stonium-90, you know, dig in. you got to understand. Plutonium is man-made. I call it plutonium. You don't think the nuclear fission going on in these reactors spent fuel all over the pools for 1,160-some-odd uh, days. There's not a byproduct. They called it atmospheric fission. I call it plutonium. This is a big, big... One of the most dangerous nuclear reactor sites in the world may well be on fire right now. Um, this is a video by Missing Sky. Um, an unusual brilliance called it. Um, as did many of us watching this all unfold. This is incredible news. This is absolutely terrifying. Looking at is a nighttime video. What you're looking at is a webcam from last night. And the credibility David Suzuki. That the I have seen a paper which says that if in fact the fourth plant goes under an earthquake and those rods are exposed, it's bye bye Japan. And everybody on the west coast of North America should evacuate. Now, if that isn't terrifying, I don't know what is. And so those words now carry weight. You got to remember that Unit 4, you're looking at it right now. I'm going to show you the video, a clip from last night's video. And you probably can't see it very well. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Now, you can see the plume coming across. And you can see the red in the middle. See that? Now you think about how big this site is. The smoke is coming right at the camera. So it's pretty obvious from this picture, this video you're watching, that the entire site now has to be evacuated and that it's contaminated. And this is Unit 4. Ad, uh, Kevin Blanche is adamant about that. This is an important what we're looking at here because of what Suzuki says stands true. This plume at 100 miles an hour in the jet streams uh, was 2,400 miles. Two and a half days, it's in North America. We'll just let that fin peter out a little bit. That's what we believe is Unit 4. It's Fukushima nuclear power plant with a vicious, massive flames shooting uh, hundreds and hundreds of feet across. We have smoke enveloping it. And now, the smoke blew past it. We don't know which... So that's unit one. Now, over to unit, unit one lost its top. It's 100% meltdown. The fuel pools are missing on the top and it's in dire strait. Nobody can get in the building. Over a million sievers outside of that place. There's rods everywhere. 500 sievers will kill you. It'll kill you. You walk past that. Two weeks later, you're just a big, dead lump of flesh. No word. Now, this is unit three you're looking at. That's a 100% meltdown. That was Mox fuel. Now, obviously, that building is in a lot of trouble, right? That's a lot of trouble. You agree? Now, just for context, Unit 4 is the one in the bottom left-hand corner. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Excuse me. Now, they all had detonations, every one of them. They all had detonations. And... Uh, unit 4 was on fire several times. Unit 3, excuse me. Do you think Unit 3 had a nuclear explosion? We're not going to ninny over that stuff because it blew pieces of the rods up to a couple of miles away. But once again, this is only based upon a short release from a single reactor at Fukushima. And as I just showed you, all the reactors... Now, the first 100 hours... That uh, was 120 billion becquerels just out of that one reactor. See, that's the importance of it. To flood the primary um, containment.
On Monday at 11 a.m., so this is now uh, in, on the third day, um, there was a, a hydrogen day was that the reactor four building, reactor four is adjacent to reactor three, uh, was observed to be a, a, a flame. And um, so this was sort of at the same time that radiation levels were increasing further. There was a lot of suspicion that this fire was in the spent fuel pool. Um, however, since that time, TEPCO has said that there was an oil leak in a water pump and that that was what was, was the cause of the fire uh, at reactor building um, four. By the way, these fuel pools are 30 uh, feet deep. Um, they're in the reactor buildings, um, but they're outside the containment. Um, it's okay for their water to boil, uh, but the elements must remain covered. Uh, if they uncover, they're likely to overheat. Um, TEPCO says that the fire, or said on one occasion that the fire was extinguished at noon, so that's not very long after. Um, IAEA says that they were informed that the fire was um, extinguished at five o'clock in the afternoon. So that's really um, where things stand, and I'm going to leave it to them. So unit four, that's the one you see straight ahead here. Now, that detonated, you just heard MIT talking about how it detonated and on fire and everything else. I want you to listen to CBS, Seth Dorn. He claims he's inside the same building that you're looking at right now. The heart of the decommissioning work taking place here in Reactor 4. Now, you can't get less than a Chick's X-ray, okay? Uh, because you're ingesting radioactive particles, you get an x-ray every second of your life. Now, what he's, what you're looking at right now, he claims that's inside of there, that those fuel pools are the same. Somehow, that fuel pool and this fuel pool can magically exist inside of this, or per se, uh, inside of that. Now, you won't see any scaffolding. You're not going to see anybody with cutting torches. You're just going to see Sith with these magic pictures and a roof that looks like Molly Maid put it in there. And you can't get inside of these buildings. And that's unit four, they're claiming. And they're also claiming that's unit four. And if you go down below my video, you will find uh, 2,000 pictures at TEPCO's website. And this will be one of them. So what's going on here? They, they came out in the last couple of months, CBS, CBC, ABC, BBC, everybody, and claimed that Unit 4 was purdy, was gorgeous. But in reality, it's extremely destroyed and unstable. 